Driven from the trees by torrential storms and forced to adapt to life on the forest floor, these tiny marsupials have shown remarkable resiliency. Where larger, brawnier animals have failed, sugar gliders continue to survive and adapt in ways that remain mysterious to us. Oh, you guys. All right. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Away, where we are trying to survive literally the end of the world as a very tiny little sugar glider. And fortunately, it turns out that not only does the end of the world have whale like skeletons tossed up by tsunamis into the mountains, which like blew my mind, but it also happens to have poisonous spiders who are evolving without having any of the like avian species that used to eat them into like a cooperative group of their own and we really don't need a world full of like cooperative super spiders uh so we need to heal mom apparently and in order to do that then i think we need to like go find some food that's gonna make her feel better and i didn't know we could have like nest travel but here we go all right so are we going over to this butterfly maybe I think we're going over to this butterfly, and I think we need to find food that can help our mom keep her health up high enough and just stay alive long enough that she can recover from this the illness. open air of the forest. But to get there, the gliders will have to navigate this treacherous gorge. Butterflies, a feast for the eyes as well as the stomach. Okay. These fluttering insects will make a hearty meal for our young glider. All right, all right, so we need to look for some butterflies. Two pink butterflies. Oh. Oh, wow! Okay, wow! We can do some, like, backflips, so we just need to wait until the butterfly gets close enough. Oh, I got it, you guys! Yes! The glider catches butterflies but does not eat them. Instead, he stores them for later. What? Where do we store them? We're doing a good job of catching this, at least, at least. So how do I store it for later? Do I put it down? Oh, I just carry it around. Okay, so now we're gonna try to catch this other butterfly. I think we're trying to go ahead and find things we could give to mom. That's a huge beetle. I think we should feed her that giant beetle. All right, but we need to get close enough. Oh, that butterfly looks like it's gonna come down low to the ground. Let's wait for it to come down. Don't get it while it's over the, like, giant poison flowers, please. Oh, 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 missed it. All right. So we are trying to help our mom. Oops, oops, oops. Not going to help us. Not going to help us if we're in the water. Ah! Not going to help us if we get eaten by that toad. Toads will try to eat anything. You've got to watch out for that. Here, I'm going to try to eat this mushroom to get my health up. Because we're really wearing ourselves out a little bit. But if, you know, that's what it takes to get to mom. Yes, we got two of them. We don't want to get in the water. Apparently, water is very bad for us. And now we want to return to the tunnel. All right, where's my tunnel? Oh, my instincts are leading me back to mom in the tunnel. I think. Okay, this way. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, thank goodness. All right, before we go back, I'm going to make sure I eat, like, a little bit more of these mushrooms. And hopefully these butterflies will be good for my mom. And actually, being a small little creature like this is reminding me how amazing it is that we don't just end up eating all of this ourselves. To have the kind of instincts where you remember to store food and not just fill your own stomach. Extraordinary. The glider has fed the butterflies to his mother, who now appears to be recovering from her spider bite. There is no reason a butterfly should provide an antidote for spider venom, and yet, it appears to have done so. Is it possible the nectar or pollen the butterflies have been feeding on contain some hidden properties we are as yet unaware of? And how did the sugar glider know that this antidote would do the trick? All very good questions. Ooh, that's very fun. We're following along with the evolution of a species, I feel. The open air of the forest. But to get there, the gliders will have to navigate this treacherous gorge. Okay. I'm glad mom's feeling better. And sugar gliders are nocturnal, so I wonder if our eyes are going to start working a lot better now that it's getting dark. Where are we, where are we aiming for, mom? Over there? Okay. Okay, good. 
Good. Good. Okay. This tumbling waterfall presents a beautiful but dangerous challenge. Its splashing waters threaten to throw the gliders off course while drenching nearby nooks and crannies in slick liquid. Rocks and branches covered in slippery moss make for tricky travels. Where's mom? I thought she was right with us, but... Oh, mom! Put your way up there! Okay, so apparently we weren't supposed to do that. Come on! Come on, me! Come on! The young glider is getting weak. Yes, I know! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Okay, so that was my fault. That was my fault. See, you di I've died, like, twice. Mom would be on her own with baby sister and just, like, trying her best to take care of baby sister. Oh, Rocks jeez, Louise. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, no, oh, no, the no, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's so sad. Mom would be on her own three times now. Oh, just one false slip, just one time of falling when you weren't supposed to when you're this teeny, and it would be literally the end of life. So, all right, I need to be very careful. I used to laugh when I would watch my crested geckos when I had my little rescue crested geckos this stare at a spot. Presents a beautiful but dangerous challenge. Its splashing oh, waters okay. threaten to throw the gliders off course while drenching nearby nooks and crannies in slick liquid. Mm, gotta watch out. But I used to laugh, like, when my... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! And branches covered in when my crested gecko spent forever trying to figure out, like, Oh, we made it, we made it, we made it, we're not dead yet! <laughs> when my crested geckos would spend forever trying to figure out, like, where they were going to go, They'd stare at a spot for like a solid two minutes and make the tiniest little micro adjustments with their legs. And they would use those big funky eyes of theirs to go ahead and just like aim for their jumps for forever. And I remember I used to laugh at them a little bit because it's like, come on, you guys, you don't need to spend like five minutes deciding if you want to do like a three inch jump. But now that I'm here with the sugar glider, I'm like, actually, those five minutes could be the difference between life and death. So I would want to go ahead and spend that time. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Oh no, no, no. Trying to make that jump. No! Hang on there, little sugar glider, bro. Oh, thank goodness, we're okay. Oh, look, there's even some food to go ahead and recover our stamina. Because it is tricky. And now that I think about it, when we were in Yellowstone, we went to the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, which was beautiful, by the way. It was one of my favorite places in the whole park. But when we were there, like the depths that you're going towards when you're walking up to the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone are huge. You really can't fall. If you fall, you're going to you're going to be devastatingly hurt and probably die to be honest because it was such a huge drop and now that it, we're here and we're a tiny little animal just trying our best to go ahead and make it it makes me think about the same thing where you really really oh why didn't we make that jump why didn't we make that jump where you really have to be super careful about like where you're going and we probably didn't make that jump because just like my crested geckos, I'm not, or like, unlike my crested geckos, I'm not taking the time to aim. If there's not something trying to eat me, and mom has plenty of like mushrooms so she can stay occupied, I should be taking a little bit more care. Woof, woof, woof. Okay, there we go. Here we go. So. Ah, there we have it. See, I just wasn't taking the time to be a little bit more careful. And again, Xavier Island <sighs> is home to a wide variety of bioluminescent fungi. These glowing mushrooms, nature's nightlights, help guide the sugar gliders on their way. Where's mom? A complex relationship seems to exist between the gliders oh, and there. these mushrooms. Sparkling sprouts that provide food, illumination, and perhaps, as has been theorized, something more. Oh? So do we, like, as we run around, are we gathering maybe the pollen from these mushrooms? And are we helping to, like, spread the mushrooms around the island? Like, little mushroom pollinators? 
we're gonna be little familial, adorable little survivors of the, the end of the world who get to help pollinate a whole bunch of bioluminescent mushrooms. That sounds amazing. So a good relationship with us might help the mushrooms out. Despite these challenges, the young glider pushes upwards towards the open air. Oh boy. Okay, let's make sure we're aiming the right direction. Go with mom. Go with mom. I love how the story of what we're doing really explores why there's a wall skeleton. Why there's bioluminescent fungi. Why we fed a butterfly to our mother when she got bitten by poisonous spiders. It confronts and his questions that normally on solid ground. people ignore. Now, on to the next challenge. Oh, that looks like a nest. Mom, but this could be somebody else's nest, maybe. Jeez, can you imagine, like, having to go through all of this twice? Like, first mom lived it, and now she's got to teach me. So that hopefully one day I will I will live long enough. Oh, it's so pretty here. To have children of my own. And just slowly but surely pass down tiny little pieces of wisdom. Oh, I feel so proud of what we're doing though. Go little sugar glider friends. Alright, and little sis is learning too. Oh, okay. Now we've got some this big drops. This is dominated by a skulk of foxes. Uh-oh. These ravenous omnivores would love to have our family of sugar gliders for dinner. I want a down helicopter. The gliders helicopter. will have to be quick and quiet if they want to avoid <gasps> being on the menu. There's a fox mom! How do we hide? Okay. Where's the foxes? Okay, we gotta be quiet. Look, it's coming back for another loop. Okay, okay. Wait for it. Okay. Mom, now? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Mother has the right idea. Darting quickly from hiding spot to hiding spot right under the fox's noses. Okay. It's a risk, but it works. Though foxes hunt, they are also skilled scavengers. Adept at locating and then feeding on the <gasps> decaying carcasses of other animals. Okay, so what does that mean for us, Mom? Oh, wait, 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 there's a fox, like, literally right there. I've never been so afraid of foxes before! <gasps> oh, there's a praying mantis just wandering by. Okay, don't react, don't try to eat it. Now what, Mom? Where do we go now? Do I come out? Phew! I probably want to be quiet and not get too too far away, but mom! Okay, mom's not coming. <gasps> no, mom! Gosh, this is like five times. I am not a very good sugar glider. I am not surviving at all. There's larger predators. There's just so many things to worry about. What the size of this bug, eh? Who even knows? Oh, my mom has her hands full. All right. Are we gonna carry on, mom? I hope she'll keep moving. I'm pretty sure she's supposed to keep moving. All right. Oh, look, 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 I see the foxes down there. So it is very dangerous. But I wonder, like... Oh, there she goes, there she goes. Okay. So I wonder if I just have to... Oh, here they come, here they come. Doing their patrol. And hopefully they'll focus more on, like, eating the cicadas and things like that. Mother has the right idea. Darting quickly okay. from hiding spot to hiding spot right under the foxes' noses. It's a risk, but it works. Okay, okay. Though foxes hunt, they are also skilled scavengers, adept at locating and then feeding on the decaying carcasses of other animals. Does that mean there's another animal that's going to, like, distract them? <gasps> oh, there's something written on that. On this. Looted. Oh, so somebody's already looted it. Oh, no, where's mom? Okay, there's mom. Where's the fox? That's a- Oh, the praying mantis is a risk? Okay. We've gotta wait. There's the fox. 
Okay, go, 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 go. Ah, mom! Oh, thank goodness. All right, I'm gonna eat this mushroom, like, to calm my nerves. So people have already looted that. I wonder where the humans all went. Okay, where's the fox? So far, so good. Over time, the dead. <gasps> no! Than the living. <laughs> the dead have become more plentiful than the living, and the scavengers come to dominate the island. Well, that's only gonna last a little while. <laughs> oh no! All right, guys. Yeah, yeah. If there was a bunch of scavengers here that are making it so that the foxes get a chance to go ahead and and just feast off of a whole bunch of carcasses as different species no longer survive. That's one thing, Another but eventually right idea. all of that abundance would run out. The hiding spot right under the fox's noses. Okay. It's a risk, but it works. Okay, I've got to Those really stick close hunt, to mom this time. They are also skilled scavengers, adept at locating and then feeding on the decaying carcasses of other animals. Wait for me, Mom. Wait for me. No! <laughs> I didn't have enough energy! Dang it! Alright, so we're having a nightmare of foxes, but hopefully I will be able to get our little sugar glider friend through this to survive another day. Ah, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and practice running along with my mom. Also, maybe, like, eating some of these bugs we keep running across, because it seems I could use some nutrients. Did I get it? Oh, I got it! Yes! See? I need to really start looking out for myself and also really start looking out for where like mom is going and then once we get to the other side we'll learn a little bit more about what has happened has the right with the idea. world after this Darting shift from hiding spot to hiding oh, spot right but i really just need to be able to survive noses. the night it's a risk, so if you guys could works. do please leave a like for our little sugar glider who is doing hunt. his best to catch his breath skilled scavengers adept at locating and then feeding on the decaying carcasses of other animals. And if you guys would like to join us on this, oh mom, come on, was that a false start? If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please <laughs> consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.